Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to network Darkroom Pro and Darkroom Core together so that they can share data. This setup would be used for, let's say, a studio or maybe like a uh, Santa event where you have a photographer taking pictures with Santa and then another computer that's used for selling and printing um, or a theme park where they take a picture uh, when you arrive and then maybe later with another attraction and there's multiple clients but one central server computer that's managing the printing so in order to do this you'll want to make sure you're on the latest version if you are running Windows 10 and um, an older version of uh, 9.2 anything 20 uh, 9.2 20 to 58 or older, this will not work. You'll need to update. And 9.1 users, uh, same thing for you. You'll need to update to the latest version of 9.2. Um, that's because Windows changed some networking. So that's the first thing. You'll want to make sure you are on the latest build of 9.2. Um, right now I'm running 9.2.2384. You click on the little question mark to find out what build you are on. Um, but update to the latest version. The next thing you will need is a version of Darkroom Pro. Um, that will work as our server and then uh, you can use Darkroom Pro or Darkroom Core to work as a workstation. Core is a little bit cheaper so typically that's what you would do for your workstations. Uh, and you can have multiple workstations but all you need is one version of Pro to work as the server. So let's jump into that server computer. Right now I'm working on this computer which is Core Edition but I'm logged into my server computer which is right back there. So let's go ahead and switch over. I'm going to uh, my setup tab and you'll want to make sure that uh, under network options your computer is set to server computer. Um, and the port should be 8080. By default, it's set to 80. So you'll want to update that. If you don't see this option, once again, make sure you're on the latest build. And there's a download on our networking uh, setup guide on darkroomsupport.com. So it's going to be under Core Edition. And then the very bottom is uh, um, networking. So there is a download for the port update to. Uh, get that option. Sometimes also switching uh, back to single and then back to server will help it show up if it is set up prop, uh, but just not displaying. Okay, so the next thing that you'll want to do is check your firewall and I'm going to give you two different suggestions. One of them is kind of a backup if the other one doesn't work, but we're going to go to uh, firewall and network protection and my firewall is currently active um, whenever uh, they try to communicate from computer to computer you'll have to set an exception for darkroom but for right now uh, you can just to make sure it's working properly you can disable your firewall set up the connection and then turn it back on and uh, enable the um, exception so I've already done that uh, if I go into allow apps through firewall you, you'll see right here is darkroom but if you're not familiar with this uh, you'll want to contact your network admin and they can help you with that part but you um, the easy way is to just disable the firewall and that will um, communicate it's a little less secure but uh, that is one way that you can get past this or uh, allow the two computers to communicate. So now that we have um, the server set up, we can go ahead and minimize it and switch back over to this local computer, my uh, client computer. I'm gonna go through and do essentially the same thing, but uh, I'm gonna set the computer to client, and I am going to go into my my network and find my server computer it actually doesn't show up across the network here uh, yours might and that makes it a little bit easier but I know the computer name 
So I'm going to just test it to make sure that I can see this photos folder from that computer on this computer. That I'm seeing that photos folder through this computer that I have access to it. And that is where all the data is stored for uh, Darkroom and that's being shared across the network. The next thing I'm going to want to do is create a new folder and delete it just to make sure I have read write privileges and that's working. Uh, once again you might need to go in and disable the firewall for this computer so that they can communicate um, with each other. So I am going to next copy whoops this path just the slash slash computer name of the server and then I'm going to manually um, click uh, or type it in there so that it's able to find that server computer it knows which computer is the server and once again I'll want to make sure that the port is set to 8080 okay now that that is all configured hopefully properly we're gonna go ahead and test it and it's telling me it was unable to connect let's look at the server computer and see what the server says view client computers and it is not seeing anything on the server we're gonna go ahead and just make that a little bit smaller so we can still see it so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to check my firewall on this end. I'm going to go ahead and switch that off. And uh, see, I, I forgot to uh, turn off the firewall. So if I click test, let's see if that works. And it is successfully connected. So uh, I did that on purpose just to show you if you run into those, uh, check your firewall check to make sure that you can access the folder that you can create a folder and delete it so you have permissions okay so a couple other things that you might run into while trying to set up uh, your network if you are uh, if you get an error saying that you don't have read write privileges typically you would have gotten an error trying to create a folder and delete that folder inside the photos folder but uh, if you get that error here, what you'll want to do is um, go to, let's see, this folder right there. We'll copy the path. And then click enter. We're going to click back one folder. This folder should be shared across your network. When we look at um, this folder right here, we're, right now, this folder we're looking at here is the same folder, but this is across the network versus this is that folder on that computer. So uh, let me pull that back up. If you uh, are not able to share, or add a folder and delete it or you're having permissions issues, what you'll want to do is right click on the photos folder, go to properties, sharing, advanced sharing, and permissions and make sure that um, the uh, it's set to everyone and full control and apply um, and you can set up individual individual user permissions if you want so somebody can log in and it is still secure but uh, once again that's more for your network admin if you're not familiar with that uh, or if you're an advanced network user um, you can do that. This is just kind of the basic, easy way to connect. One other uh, thing that I've run into, and this is a little odd, but if we're going to go ahead and minimize this and look back at the client computer, um, here is our server. Uh, we're looking through the network at this photos folder. Sometimes I'll see a user folder or a darkroom software folder, um, essentially anything from that uh, photo path, those are all parent folders to this photos folder and giving multiple options to get into the photos folder. So one thing I typically suggest is unsharing 
um, the users folder. Let me switch back over to the server so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, currently in the uh, server. Okay, so um, whenever you share this folder, it should share automatically, but you might see the public uh, or users or um, public documents or darkroom software. If you see those folders and you're still having problems, go ahead and unshare the parent folders, but leave the photos folder. So just like on here in my client computer, sorry to switch back and forth so much and it's hard to keep up, I know, um, that I have just my photos folder, none of the parent folders shared. Now I do have this other folder that's being shared from that computer, but it has nothing to do with that folder path. This is a completely different folder. So it's okay to have shared folders. You just might need to unshare the parent folders for the photos folder. But um, let's go ahead and um, close core edition, open it back up. It did connect earlier, but I did some folder stuff. so. Now it's having problems and we'll just want to double check. We click test. We have a good connection. And now if we go into, let's say this folder and let's take this picture of Aladdin and rotate it. And we're going to switch back over to our server The same catalog we can see that it's been updated on that computer so if I send an, a print order from my workstation it will print on my printer through that server another thing that's important to remember with um, server client setup you can use the client as a capture station preview station sales station the printer must be connected to the server the server is going to work as your print server so that's one important thing to remember um, when you're doing this type of setup um, I hope this has been helpful thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time hi it's me again if this video has been helpful, be sure to check out one of our other videos just like this one. And if we've earned it, please consider subscribing. This lets us know that what we're doing is helpful, that people are out there watching our videos and it's making their job and their life just a little bit easier. So if we've earned it, please consider subscribing right over here. Thanks a bunch.